it is a snowy one this morning. Mike's out hunting, so best of luck to him and Jack. I hope they shoot something. Um, I'm just up at the top. I'm one of those people that likes a little jaunt in the morning. Um, so yeah, bring on the snow. <laughs> I think you caught that. Probably didn't even mean to. <laughs> As you can see, we already drug one of these snowmobiles out of here. We have a twin set, a matching set of what? 1976 Yamaha GS340s. They're sweet. They're vintage. Mm -hmm. They don't go really fast, but they're fun to like just bang around on. So... What happened? What are we doing here? Last year I bought a coil went out. That's what gives us a spark. A coil went out and I bought a cheap coil and it burned up. So I'm robbing parts off of this one to put on the other one. So both these two guys here are the coils and that is what gives spark to the spark plugs. And don't buy cheap ones because they will literally burn a hole in the side. June. We'd say they like the snow. Big fans. Huge fans. All right, there's that washer. And now there's gonna be two coils. There's this little exhaust shield back here that should come off. You gotta get these screws out. It's a little bound up. There's that exhaust shield. Pull these two screws out, and those guys are now free. Doesn't matter what side is what with the coils right here. Um, we just need to match our wires up on the other snowmobile. <laughs> it's dumping. <laughs> okay. So then we're gonna unplug these. Two little plugs down in here somewhere. So let's see, so there's one. And there's two. So now we'll take these down and go put them on the other one. So this is the other one. Sled number two. It looks identical. It, it Same is. here. It's identical, just in a little bit better shape. Yeah, this one was taken care of. That other one we got is like more of a beater. Yeah. This one's cool. So you can see. For my last trip, I wanted to use the beater, so I already have this taken apart. And that coil is bad, that's what happens. Yeah. Burns right through it. Yep, so don't buy cheap coils, because that's dangerous. That's actually really dangerous, I bet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On 
the other one, the white was on the outside, so we'll put the white on the outside. These are the originals. This is asking a lot for these to run. These are from 1974. This whole thing's from 1970. Or no, 76. 76, 76. I think, yeah. I think it's 76. Pretty sure. So that's half. And this is the other half. And that exhaust shield. That goes that way, I believe. Let's see if it fits like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that looks right. Mm -hmm. Looks good. We take our nut and washer and play this game. That's just peachy with that little shield in the way. Oh, oh no. no. The worst sound in the world. No. Where'd it go? Found that down in there. Oh, I see it. Okay, so now we have the right washer even. Okay. I should pay attention to what was what. Yeah. Hopefully left is left and right is right. This nifty little gizmo there to try to hold them together. And then we'll come over here, plug our plug wires in, and on this it's white to white and orange to orange. Okay, you just want to make sure those aren't going to touch the exhaust. Cool, now we need some gas. <laughs> She runs. Yep. Got gas. Got gas. This is two stroke. I took the oil injection out, so we have to mix the gas. So it's pre mix. We got two gallons. See if she goes. These things have a good track record. nice thing about all this is we can like see if it's getting fuel and all that jazz. So choke it, turn it on, make sure it's on.
Box. Big fancy box. We got root to the stars. Alright. Easy as that. Yeah. Ooh la la. So we need to go out, set up our little substation. This looked like it was a triangle, right? Tripod? Mm -hmm. So that'll be where it sits. What? So yeah, it should have a pretty clear view. Satellite's right up there. Yeah. Router. This must be the router. It's like fancy. Yeah, yeah, we'll see that up close. That must be the Wi Fi router. Mm -hmm. And then. So I just want the dish. So they give you plenty of cable. Like if we need to mount this on the roof for mm -hmm. some reason, cool. they give you a ton of cable, which is good. So, it doesn't look really exciting. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's so simple, it's, you know. Even the monkey can do it? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Maybe it does it by itself. Yeah. We could read it and see. Yeah, let's try it. Let's get everything plugged in. So, this is the router. And this is the power supply. So we'll pl plug everything into the power supply. It's pretty easy. They give you a black cord and a white cord and give you a black port and a white port. So it's pretty straightforward. Here and now we plug it in. Mm -hmm. Moment of truth into our fire hazard. Okay, that's Let's it. See. The light lit up on the front. See the other thing. Let's see if the thing's moving.
I don't think this thing is going to be cat proof. Probably like the worst day we can be doing this too. Mm -hmm. That says online good connection. Let's run a speed test. Wow. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? It's pretty quick. Look at that. Even on a cloudy day? Even on a terrible day. Uh, bump down a little. That's even fast though. So let's just try to... Okay, so that's what it evened out at. Show more info. You can see the upload speed, the latency. It's all pretty good and it's pretty quick. And this is the worst day. I don't know if you can hear it, but it does have a little whine to it. It makes, makes a noise. But it oriented itself right where I did the test. You can see I barely have the tree in the side there. Seems to be working good. Hey babe. Yes. How's the internet? It's fast. It's fast. We're back in the real world. Watching a TV show. Oh boy.